In this tutorial, we're gonna be using our magnetic brush set, completely synthetic vegan haired brushes, and showing you all the tips and tricks of how to use each brush. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use the brush M1 to apply any of your fluids or creams. You can see that the tapered hair starts really low down on this brush and it's really nice and full. We're gonna use it the Shimmering Event Foundation in Golden Beige. This is a really nice product to use underneath and you don't have to do much blending at all because the brush is doing all of that for you just as it sweeps across the chin, nose and cheeks. And as you can see, as you put pressure on the brush, it gently splays out across the areas and it swipes up and blends that product. So now you've got that beautiful glow to the skin. The next two brushes I'm gonna use from the range are your M4 and M3 brushes. These are beautiful for applying and blending any of your concealing products. So we're now gonna be applying our Digital Complexion Concealer. I would load your concealer onto the tip of the brush so that the product doesn't sit on top of the bristles, but the actual bristles themselves are the things that carry the product. So what's really nice about this brush is that it deposits the product, but it also blends it at the same time. So we're just using the Digital Complexion Concealer to just slightly balance the skin. So the M3 brush is great for any creams, any fluids, um, anywhere that you want to kind of pinpoint and conceal or add a little wash of color. Really, really easy to blend in and look really natural. Now we're gonna use the M4 for that pinpoint concealing. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you that you can basically get a higher concentration with this brush because the, uh, the hairs are denser. You can actually apply a little bit more of a stronger application and then go back in with your M3 brush. Now, the reason you shouldn't do this all with just the M3 brush is because once you've got a higher deposit of product on a brush, you're never gonna achieve a blend with that same brush. So it's really important to kind of have the two in tandem with each other. You have the M4 for the application of the product and then the M3 for the blending. So the next brush we're gonna use is the M2. This one is a beautifully tapered soft paddle brush. Creams and fluids are really beautifully applied with this. It's also beautiful at blending different tones together. So I'm gonna be using the Digital Complexion Fluid Foundation. So you don't want it to be saturated all the way down. You want there to be just a nice application of the product on the surface. Um, and that way we can make sure that we're not overloading the skin with product. So as I'm applying this brush, you can see it's got a nice flat plane. So we're working across the flat planes of the face and applying the foundation and blending at the same time. So I'm working in circular motions as I work across the cheek and down towards the chin. And then when you're working from the nose or the forehead on the flatter areas, use the flat surface of the brush and then you can sweep in with the foundation. You can really get right up close to the areas of the lip because you've got that nice solid edge to the brush where it can then just gently sweep along, making sure you've got good coverage in every part of the face. So we're gonna be using the Digital Complexion Cream Foundation to apply a nice bronzer to the skin. So I'm gonna be using the M3 as the applicator. This is nice because we get to control a little bit more of the placement of the product. And I'm working in very small circular motions as I'm applying this backwards and forwards across the bone. And then you can decide where else you wanna place it. So we're gonna put a little bit on the tip of the nose just to give a nice kind of sun-kissed feel, a little bit on the chin through that socket line a little bit maybe onto the temples, the cheeks and the chin, is then gonna just marry into the rest of the complexion and look a lot more natural. I'm now gonna go in with the M2 brush and this is now gonna serve as a nice buffing brush. So you've got that nice flat surface with that tapered edge and I'm working backwards in circular motions as we blend in that warm, nice bronze tone to the cheek and you can see it effortlessly blends that into the skin so that the color really does melt down into that kind of buttery foundation base. We're now gonna be using the M1 brush for another purpose. It's really kind of versatile, perfect for creams and fluids, but it's also really nice to apply powders with. Just sweeping it across the apple of the cheek and up the cheekbone there towards the hairline. So the way that the brush is tapered lends itself to lots of different types of base of product. So here we have a nice finished, beautiful, fresh looking skin Ideal for traveling where you just want a little bit of coverage and that nice kind of healthy glow to the skin using our magnetic brush set. We've got our beautiful uh, brush soap here. 
a completely vegan product, completely natural. It also leaves a really beautiful scent. You simply just dip your brush hair into some water and then you wanna gently build a nice soapy lather. You can then simply rinse until all the color and soap is removed and then gently then dry the brushes on a towel or with some tissues and you've got that nice beautiful clean bristles. We hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Next time you're on your travels, grab one of our magnetic brush sets to make your life much easier. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.